Well, I want to bring in Brad Garrett, who studies uh, the behavior of these terror attacks and the telltale signs of these hostage situations. And uh, Brad, the idea that they would go into this theater with such an enormous crowd, uh, and as we heard moments ago, the Associated Press reporting a significant carnage, according to one official who has witnessed the scene. Uh, what does this tell you? Well, it, it tells me they felt like they had no choice but to go in. What I find interesting, and we don't know the details, obviously, David, is it didn't appear to take that long. That may suggest there weren't that many bad guys inside when they entered. Hopefully, they had intelligence of basic locations, type of weapons. And so what they would have done, go in, have a distraction, probably throw a flashbang, and then go directly toward the bad guys. Matt Olson also with us, the former head of the National Counterterrorism Center and ABC News counterterrorism analyst. And uh, Matt, we have been reporting all afternoon and into the evening here that the decision to go inside uh, is made very carefully given uh, the fact that it could also backfire in some ways. They clearly thought they had no choice here. Right. The, it, it, they must have decided that the, the odds were now in favor of, of simply going in and, that, and waiting was not uh, the right thing to do. You know, counterterrorism officials have learned a lot over the last several years about scenarios like this, multiple shooters, multiple locations. This is reminiscent of the attack in 2008 in Mumbai, India, uh, which also involved multiple incidents. And counterterrorism officials learned from that incident not just to wait, but to go in when there was an opportunity to do so in an effort to save lives. You make an excellent point, Matt, because French President Hollande uh, speaking uh, to the French public a short time ago saying stay indoors, but he also declared a state of emergency, which uh, in effect closes the, the borders in France immediately. This was much sooner than what we saw last January after Charlie Hebdo. Right. I think that they're uh, reacting to right what, what happened a year ago, but also to uh, the, what appears to be a rather remarkable escalation in ISIS activity. Assuming this is ISIS in Paris, and again, we don't know that yet, but uh, looking at what happened with the Russian airliner and then in Beirut, uh, if this was ISIS, this is a remarkable escalation in the level of violence and their reach uh, to the West. Of course, we have to wait and see if, in fact, it is ISIS and who claims responsibility. Matt Olson, Brad Garrett, our entire team staying with us as we continue our live coverage here on World News Tonight.